Hey everyone, these are the notes on transcription for gene expression part one, which is the process of taking DNA and converting it to mRNA. And I am doing this on the back side of my mega sheet, opposite to where we had the notes on DNA replication. This process of transcription is going to take place in the nucleus of a cell. And so the first thing that's going to happen is we are going to take DNA, double-stranded DNA, we're going to uncoil it, and we are going to expose the nitrogenous bases because that's where the code for the DNA is. Now, one of these strands is your actual coding strand. The other is, or uh, the other one is your non-coding strand. Um, you do need to just know that it is the um, that that's just the 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 the, the DNA that was going to get copied. And so, taking this DNA and converting it into mRNA, a direct copy. Um, is the process of transcription. Now, this first copy that is made is called your primary transcript. This primary transcript is, a, is um, complementary to the DNA with the exception of um, that in the mRNA, which is this right here, it's going to contain the letter U instead of the letter T, so uracil instead of thymine. Think of the primary transcript as a rough draft. This rough draft is then going to be edited before it's going to be allowed to leave the nucleus. And there's three main things that are happening in the editing process, or what we call uh, process, uh, transcription processing. Number one, we are going to remove sections of DNA that don't actually code for anything uh, that don't code for the proteins themselves. So this segment of DNA, this gene, which is just a segment of DNA, um, is copied and made into that primary transcript out of mRNA. Then we're going to remove that, those non-coding sections called introns. Introns, um, just think of it, introns in trash. Um, ent introns are removed and what's left over are known as exons. So exons are expressed and those need to be glued together. And when they're glued together, those pieces, um, what you're left with is much shorter than the original primary transcript. The second thing that's going to happen in our processing for eukaryotic transcription is the addition of your caps. We're going to add one on the five prime end. So I'm just going to randomly assign this one right here as a five prime cap. This just helps to protect the mRNA and keep it from getting damaged. Then the third thing that's going to happen is the addition of a cap or a tail on the three prime end. So both of these right here act as a way to protect the DNA or the mRNA. And when you've removed the introns and you've added both your cap and your tail, this right here is called your mature mRNA. This mature mRNA is then allowed to leave the nucleus so that it can participate in, or it can be used to actually make the protein itself which is called translation, and we're going to do that process down here. 